In this session, we will discuss about the Human Development Index in detail. India's rank on Human Development Index has slipped from 130 in 2020 to 132 in 2021 as per the United Nations Development Report. The Human Development Index was created to emphasize that people and their capabilities should be the ultimate criteria for assessing the development of a country, not economic growth alone. Now, let us see the proper definition of the HDI. Human Development Index is a statistical tool used to measure a country's overall achievement in its social and economic dimensions. The social and economic dimensions of a country are based on the health of the people, their level of education attained, and their standard of living. It is a measure of country's average achievements in three dimensions of human development. Number one, a long and healthy life as measured by the life expectancy at birth. Number two, knowledge as measured by means of schooling and expected years of schooling. And number three, a decent standard of living as measured by gross national income per capita. Now, let us throw some light at the past of the HDI. Pakistani economist Mahbub ul Haq, in combination with Amartya Sen created HDI in 1990, which was further used to measure the country's development by the United Nations Development Program. Calculation of the index combines four major indicators, life expectancy for health, expected years of schooling, mean years of schooling for education and gross national income per capita for standard of living. Every year, United Nations Development Program ranks countries based on the HDI report released in their annual report. The HDI is one of the best tools to keep track of the level of development of a country as it combines all major and social economic indicators that are responsible for economic development. The Human Development Index sets a minimum and a maximum for each dimension, called goalposts, then shows where each country stands in relation to these goalposts. This is expressed as a value between 0 and 1. The higher a country's human development, the higher its HDI value. The health aspect of the HDI is measured by the life expectancy as calculated at the time of birth. Each country and normalized so that this component is equal to 0 when life expectancy is 20 and equal to 1 when life expectancy is 85. If we talk about the education, education is measured in two levels, the mean years of schooling for residents of a country and the expected years of schooling that a child has at the average age of starting school. These are each separately normalized so that 15 mean years of schooling equal to 1 and 18 mean years of expected years of schooling equal to 1 and a simple mean of the two is calculated. The metric chosen to represent the standard of living in GNI per capita is based upon the purchasing power parity, a common metric used to reflect average income. The final HDI score for each country is calculated as the geometric mean of the three components by taking the cube root of the product of the four normalized component sources. The HDI is used to capture the attention of the policymakers, the media and NGO. It was created to re-emphasize that people and their capabilities should be the ultimate criteria for assessing the development of a country, not only economic growth. The Human Development Index is also used to question national policy choices and to determine how two countries with the same level of income per person can have widely different human development outcomes. For example, two countries may have similar income per person but have drastically differing life expectancy and literacy levels such that one of the countries has a much higher HDI than the other. The Human Development Index is also used to highlight differences between countries, between provinces and the states and across gender, ethnicities and other socio-economic groupings. Human Development Index can be used to question the policies asked how two countries with the same level of GNA per capita end up with so many differences. The Human Development Index simplifies and captures only part of what human development entails. It does not reflect on inequalities, poverty, human security, empowerment, etc. Look at the limitations of the Human Development Index. There are criticism of the HDI. The criticism is that it is a simplification and an admittedly limited evaluation of human development. The HDI does not specifically reflect quality of life factors such as empowerment, overall feeling of security. 
Now, the big question is that is a high HDI good or bad? The higher the HDI, the better it is. A high HDI essentially means that the country in question offers a generally higher standard of living with decent healthcare, education and opportunities to earn money. That's all in today's session. See you soon.